Good evening, guys. We're going to be talking about something a little bit different today. We're going to be talking about life extension, and it's going to, you know, it's, we're going to we're going to caress the realm of conspiracy here a little bit, guys. But I'm going to tell you this is my speculation. A lot of this stuff I'm just learning about it myself, and I'll give you the articles that I'm reading from and as I understand it. So just as context, when we started these channels, we didn't just want to do, you know, current events and, you know, doom and gloom and all this war stuff. We wanted to talk about aliens and UFOs and UAPs and all this mad stuff that was happening with the, you know, the... The Nimitz incidents, the Tic Tac in incidents, strange lights in the sky, the paranormal, the extra normal, all that sort of stuff, guys. But the reality is we've been going down one, um, one track and it's kind of been the doom and gloom track. But anyway, guys, what we're going to talk about now is something that people think is impossible. And if you know me in my personal life, I think this is going to happen in our lifetime. I really do. Um, we're going to talk about life extension. Now, I know people are like, oh, it's impossible, it's impossible. But let me give you an example. Uh, not an example. Let me give you just food for thought. People say, if you say to somebody, do you think we'll be able ever, ever be able to travel, humanity will ever be able to travel to distant stars? You know, everybody will say, yes, at some point we'll have a spaceship that can go faster than light and, you know, we'll get there. But the reality is that breaks fundamental laws of physics. Now, we can argue about, you know, moving space time with a warp drive or potentially moving in alternate di dimensions. And again, that's another video on itself. But if you ask people, do you think we'll ever be able to live, for live forever as humans? They'll say no straight away. And everybody thinks that. But the reality is, physically... There's no laws of physics that stop that would stop us from living forever. Now, I'm going to try and I'm going to try and explain why we age in my own language, and then I'll give you some and I'll read from some articles and I'll put some links in the description on why we age, why we get old, and ultimately why we croak it at the end. And I always say this to my dad when I'm having this conversation with my dad, and my dad saying, "Oh no, I won't, I won't want to live forever." I always say to him, "I say, right, okay, that's fine. At what point are you going to say?" Yeah, you know what? That's me. I've had enough. I'm I'm going to tap out. I'm done. It's never going to happen. So everybody kind of does want to live forever. Now, aging, it's there's lots of species in nature that don't that cells don't age. So we know it doesn't have to happen. And when you age, it's about your cells replicating. And every time your cell replicates, it well you get to your prime and it's different for everybody. So maybe like 26, 27, 28, 30, everybody's different, obviously. But your cells get stronger and stronger and stronger until you get to a certain age and then they start to degrade. So every time your cell replicates, it will degrade slightly. And this is because of oxidization. Now, your oxidization runs hand in hand with your something called your telomeres. And basically, I'll share links on this afterwards, guys. Basically, the longer your telomeres, the healthier you are and the longer your life is. When you reach that peak of your, um, the peak of what, you know, the peak of your uh, cells generation, your telomeres will be at their longest and then they get shorter and shorter and shorter. When your cells replicate and that, you know, when your cells are replicating, then they get degrade and degrade and degrade until we ultimately have a body failure and we expire. That's kind of, you know, aging in a nutshell. Now, Scientists have already found out a way to lengthen these telomeres. And, you know, the, the science is out there. It's open source. All you need to do is look at, you know, life extension on mice, life extension on um, life extension experiments. Lots of UK universities are conducting research on this. You know, I'll put a few links in the description. I'm not really going to, I'm not going to share the, uh, I'm not going to share any articles now, but I will put some links in the description. Now, the problem with this is cancer. That's the problem. You see, if you can, if you get the telomere, if eternal life, the byproduct of eternal life is cancer. Cancer becomes inevitable. So then, then, the, then is the next, uh, the next hurdle is then cancer. Okay, so how do we deal with, um, how do we deal with this cancer? What do we do with that? Well, let me quickly share this from you guys because it's just something that popped up and I, and I connected these dots. 
Again, this is me speculating, guys. I don't know if there's anything in this, but eight cancer doctors among dead in Brazil plane crash. As seven others change flights at the last minute. Now, that always strikes me as suspicious when people change the flights at the last minute. And guys, I'm not saying there's anything untoward with this. All I'm doing is put, put it, you know, giving you guys the breadcrumbs and letting you make your own assumptions. So eight cancer doctors among dead in Brazil plane, plane crashes seven obviously changed their flights at the last minute. At least eight cancer doctors who were heading to an oncology conference were among dozens killed in a plane crash in Brazil's Vin Vinhedo on Friday, official, an official has said. So remember that plane that flew out the sky? Now, can we see that? Is that a footage of it? Hang on. Is this footage? Yeah. Now, look at that, guys. Look at that footage. I do not know how that's failed. You know, that is like I emerge. Right. So I'm, le I'm, I'm learning to get my pilot's license and for a plane to fall out of the sky like that, that means it must have stopped. It, you know, at some point, I don't know what's happened I, as you're moving, because if you have an engine failure, you know, and your engines fail, you should still be able to glide. And from we can, what we can see, they've still got the wings. So at some point, they must have had an engine failure and then they must have tried to keep the altitude and it stalled. And I, I, I don't know what's happened, guys, but, you know, it looks really strange that this has fallen out of the sky. And it looks strange that it's fallen out of the sky with these cancer patients, uh, cancer scientists on it. Now, if we put all this together, because these things may, and you know, there may be just isolated incidents. But if you put them all together, so let me just share with you the, um, the T cell therapies here, guys. Not the T cells, there. Yeah. So these scientists, as well, as I understand it, they've found a new trial, some sort of new trial explores BAF car T cell therapy, you know, and this is supposed to combat these cancers. Guys, I'm not going to lie. I don't know. I'm not 100% on this, but it looks like these scientists that were going out there, from what I can see, have, you know, they had some sort of you know, cancer treatment that could help or maybe even, well, let's just read it. University Hospital, Seidman Cancer Center, hematologist, oncologist, Leyland Metzuf, got a very long title, is leading the trial. He says the two in the two years since the foundation preclinical work was completed, his team has shown that it is feasible to manufacture T cells for, for a human subject. The innovative new is in the innovation is introducing genes into T cells via the process of electro pro, electro poration of extra, some word I can't pronounce in the Weasley Center for Immune Therapy. So basically, guys, there's you know from what we can see in these articles. Now, again, you know I don't know if these two things are related. I don't know if they're you know. If they're put together but what we can see is there's been advances in cancer treatment which you know it's there it's open source i'll put the links in the description we've got previously to that the increases in life extension that they've been saying oh we can't we can't go any further because of the risk of cancer so we can't have human trials because it's it really raises the risk of cancer. Now we've had the increase in cancer treatment, and then we had this plane go down in Brazil with the cancer scientists on it. I don't know if there's any connection, guys. I may be missing the mark. I may be totally wrong. You have a think about it, guys. Check out the links in the description and tell me what you think. Am I well off the mark or have we got something there? Are we? Can we join these dots and, you know, come up with a conclusion? I don't know. Anyway, guys, I'm going to match the grid. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll speak to you guys soon.